It was a big day for the prosecution in the Elizabeth Holmes Theranos trial. Testimony revealed her defunct blood testing company wasn't even using its own machines to test samples for years. Let's get to Len Ramirez, who's been following the case from the federal courthouse in San Jose for us. Len? Well, the company's final lab director testified today that Elizabeth Holmes wanted to give federal regulators a, quote, alternative explanation for why the company had to throw out two years' worth of faulty lab results. He also testified that by the time he got to Theranos, the company had all but abandoned its own technology. Dr. Kingshuk Das was lab director at Theranos from late 2015 to 2018 when the company folded. He testified that when he got there, Theranos was no longer using its own proprietary devices to test blood and that responding to government audits was nearly the sole responsibility he had. Well, his final lab director is not only giving damaging testimony, he's giving devastating testimony against Elizabeth Holmes. I Former mean, prosecutor and legal analyst Michelle Hagan said Dr. Das's like testimony could strongly support the prosecution's allegation of fraud. It's her company, she's responsible, and she made these representations every day on their website that they were using this technology, this revolutionary technology. Dr. Doss testified that in 2016, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services put the company on notice that their practices jeopardized the health and safety of patients. He said he then told Elizabeth Holmes that he voided all patient test results done on Theranos devices for 2014 and 15 because the instruments were so unreliable. He said Holmes wanted to give the government regulators an alternative explanation that there was not an instrument failure, but a failure of quality control practices. At that point, she was put on notice. She should have shut the door, gone back to the drawing board, and fixed every all the problems. You don't just keep going along with your vision when you know there are problems, especially when she was told by the uh, government regulators that they their lab practices were a threat to patient safety. And Dr. Das will be back on the witness stand tomorrow for cross-examination. In addition to everything else, the courthouse here continues to have logistical problems. Today it was the video system used to pre uh, present evidence to the jury. That went out, so the uh, attorneys in this case had to project from their laptops onto a side wall in a dark darkened courtroom. The judge apologized to the jury for that. Reporting live in San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.